Hey there guys, Kevin here and I'm sitting here with Chris Jeruso. If you guys watch Nerd Logger at all, you know he's my favorite artist of all time. And I, I'm so excited right now. First off, I gotta ask you, what was your main influence in starting to draw comics and write comics on your own? Uh, my main influence was my brother Dave, who, you know, ever since I was a little kid, I was trying to do everything he did. So when he was, when he decided to draw something, I would copy whatever it was he was drawing. So sometimes it would be birds, Sometimes it would be comic strips, and often it would be Peanuts comic strips. So pretty soon, Charles Schultz became you know, my supreme master and was drawing Snoopy, Charlie Brown, all that kind of stuff. That's awesome. How much does that affect your work now, and like, who influences you now that you've made kind of a name for yourself? Um, now it's pretty much every, everything you see. You know, I mean, I, eventually I graduated from like being a fan of comic strips in the newspaper to superhero comic books. So. I think my style now is kind of a combination of the, the classic humor strip with the, the current superhero ad adventure kind of a story. So you need a little Schultz with like uh, Eric Larson or a Jack Kirby kind of an influence. Uh, not to say that I'm nailing either one of their styles, yeah. but um, I, I, I appreciate all different kinds of styles, but definitely more on the cartoony, uh, gotcha. energetic yeah. spectrum. Okay. Um, what attracts you to a certain character? In an example, why do you think Hawkeye is so awesome? I like everyone else, or like me, and you know he's badass pretty much. I, I always liked Hawkeye. I, I, I was introduced to Hawkeye through the West Coast Avengers series back in the 80s, and all I could think was like, wow, this guy's awesome. He's just as awesome as Captain America. Yeah. And, and I kind of felt like I was the only one that appreciated that. And, and I know Hawkeye, how you feel. And Hawkeye knew it, yeah. and nobody else really gave him his, his due respect, other than Captain America, you know. And I kind of, I like that whole. I kind of identified with uh, not feeling like I was recognized yeah. for being, you know, what I thought I might, I might have been, you know. Couldn't I couldn't have said it better myself. Being being constantly looked over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, now since uh, G-Man, your first creator own book, uh, how is it? How important is it to you to? Do you create your own stuff, and how much does it take away from your your mainstream stuff? Well, it's it's uh, it's not even really an either or at this point because uh, the mainstream Marvel stuff isn't really an opportunity that I have in front of me. Um, that being said, I still prefer the idea of creating my own, like as Todd McFarlane would say, you know, create your own Mickey Mouse, uh, something that you created brand new that you can own, you can control. Nobody can tell you what you can or can't do. I like that. Now, besides drawing comic books, what's probably the nerdiest thing about you? Uh, I don't know. Like, what else is there to be nerdy? I got straight A's in high school. That's that's pretty nerdy. That? Yeah. That's pretty nerdy and awesome because I didn't, and I wish I did. <laughs> um, now, which character would you say you try to emulate most in your day-to-day -day life? Uh, I, I don't know that I necessarily try to emulate any anybody in particular. I'm just. I'm just trying to take each, each day as it comes. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Now, what's the one character that you haven't worked on yet that you would love to put your own spin on, your own take on? Oh, that's another tough question. I mean, you, you like, you grow up reading superheroes your whole life, you like them all. Yeah. So to pinpoint one, I don't know, but like, a lot of people ask me, have you ever thought about doing mini DCs? Because I've already done the mini Marvels. And absolutely, I'm a huge fan of the DC characters every bit as much as the Marvel characters. So, you know, throw a dart at the DC dartboard and I'd love to work on that character. That's, that's awesome, because I would love to see some DC stuff from you as well. Um, now we have three questions that we always ask at the end of every interview at Nerd Locker. First off, what's your favorite comic book? Uh, my favorite comic book, it's, I'll, I'll name a few, uh, Savage Dragon, Invincible, Walking Dead, uh, all, all of the Hellboy BPRD stuff. Pretty awesome. I was hesitant to read it, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, it's like I kind of gravitate towards like creator-owned okay. stuff, stuff that's uh, you know, like Bone is another one, yeah. Gru the Wanderer, uh, Stan Sakai's uh, Yos Yosaki Yojimbo. It's a great one. Um, okay. Now, what's your favorite movie? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> Too many to list. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what's your favorite video game? Uh, see, <laughs> Pac-Man. Awesome. I think we have the answer. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Chris. Uh, you guys, check out G-Man. 
mini marvels they come out all the time keep reading it this is nerd locker this is chris giruso creator of g-man and you're watching nerd locker the place for your inner nerd